Okay, so this is going to be the first kit um, from me um, basically making my own. Um, I ordered all the products off of two peas in a bucket, and I did three months' worth. Um, I tried to keep the range in um, about the $30, $35 range for each kit. Um, I ordered them all at once, though. I ordered enough stuff anyway to do three kits all at once um, just to save on shipping. But um, I will still do each one individually when I show you. So when I was using the other kits, I was limiting myself and making sure that I only used what was in the kit. So I'm going to try to do that with um, at least this first kit as well. Um, I might um, eventually start trying to do kits, but just by pulling um, stuff that I already have in my own stash. Because I'm obviously just accumulating more and more things. So <laughs> it's probably a good idea to start using up some of the stash. Um, anyway, so here are the products that I picked. This one definitely has a much more boy or masculine um, look to it. Um, so these are the wood chips, the arrows. Um, definitely boy stuff, my mind's eye. Absolutely boy. I think I did a lot of things from this um, my mind's eye collection in here. To me, um, it's easier for me to use um, papers and stickers and everything that have a lot of primary colors in them or shapes. That works well for masculine or boy pages. I haven't used any of these um, Polaroid frames yet, so that'll be interesting to give those a whirl. So when I'm doing, um, when I'm looking at papers, a lot of times I like the A and B side of papers, so I, for the most part, usually buy two sheets of each, um, so that's how I'm going to do um, my kits as well. But the, these three, um, I liked one side and not so much the other, or I just didn't figure that it, I needed two sides of it. Um, so there's only one sheet of each of these. This one actually, um, I just I did order two sheets, I put it in just two kits. This one is only the one page. Not as big of a fan of that side. Watch that way the side I end up using. And then these ones, this is the front and back of each of those. And that is that same line by my, my mind's eye. Oh no, I'm sorry, it's not. This one's all, all about a boy by Echo Park. This is also Echo Park. And this is the front and back. All about a boy again, front and back. And then these ones are, let's see, Cartel Bella. I don't think I've ever even heard of that, but I like the paper. It has a distressed look to it, and I like those colors. All right, so that's the kit that I'm starting with. Okay, I'm thinking I'm actually going to try to narrate the video this time. Um, I'm getting kind of tired of trying to find music and stuff for the videos, so... Maybe I'll give this a whirl, see if it's not too much trouble or too annoying. Maybe it'll make the video process go quicker, I don't know. We'll see. So um, anyway, right now I'm just matting the photos. And you know what, I always try to use as many photos as I can um, on my layouts. I never do just the one, so I think this one's going to end up with um, four photos on it. So now I'm just inking the edges with, um, I think this is walnut stain, that's the one I use most of the time because it's darker. I like the edges to actually be pretty dark so you could tell that they were inked. Now I'm inking the edges of the main paper. Um, I ink most of the edges on all of my stuff just because I like that look a lot. Um, I'm going to use the ATG gun to glue it down. I oh, I have a love-hate relationship with the ATG gun. It glues really well and it adheres really well, but that's kind of part of the problems because you can't pull stuff back up. And then the other thing is that it seems like it leaves a lot of, um, I don't know, maybe I just can't get it to flow right, but it leaves a lot of the adhesive actually on that little tape thing as it's rolling out. Um, I like using that little Tombow one on photos a lot. Um, it makes them more um, repositionable afterwards. So. Um, now I'm going to use a stencil by, um, I think it's the Crafter's Workshop. I'm just going to go around the edges um, of where I'm going to put the photo 
of um, my niece and son. So I decided that I wanted to go around the um, just little certain places on that stencil with the white pen and that white pen just didn't want to work for me so I had to get another one off and uh, do it but I, I did like the way it turned out. Now I'm just putting down these frames and um, I'm using the tiny toucher to adhere them. This is the first time I've actually used any of these Polaroid frames and I like the way it turned out. It was really cute. So I got these um, wood arrows. Um, I don't remember who they're from. I don't know if they're Freckled Fawn or if they're um, Cal uh, Studio Calico, but uh, I was trying to use those on here. I do end up using a few of them, but um, on the photo frames and not in this way. I was going back and forth a lot with what to do in this area, and uh, it just wasn't happening. just wasn't looking right, <laughs> but it ended up with something that was okay in the end. I was playing with these um, Graphic 45 sticker or stamps trying to figure out um, some place that I could put numbers or incorporate numbers onto this layout. Um, I ended up stamping um, on one of those uh, photo frames and it just, I think it says priceless, which is where I decided to get the name for the title. I didn't really put a title on this layout and I didn't realize it until I started to make this video. <laughs> um, I decided to go with these, uh, it's a... Uh, Mm, what do you call that? A journaling spot type of stamp. Um, so I just went with these arrows. I was really struggling with trying to use these. Uh, it was actually a sheet of paper that was in the kit that had almost like a crossword puzzle type thing on it that had a bunch of different words and I selected a few words that I wanted to use, but I was having a hard time figuring out how I was going to incorporate them onto the page. Um, I ended up figuring it out in the end. Now I'm just gluing down some of those uh, wood arrows on the frames. And I'm going to um, use some brads too that were in the kit. Um, and incorporate those. Okay, so I'm just putting these brads down around the picture frames, or those photo frames, and then um, I believe I actually add brads to some other parts as well uh, around those journaling blocks. I believe I put some in there too. Okay, so narrating these videos is absolutely not as easy as just putting music to them. <laughs> um, I don't know, guess we'll have to see. Maybe I'll just mix it up every now and then. <laughs> so this is that paper that has the crossword look to it, and you can see that I was cutting out just certain letters. I had cut a few of them apart thinking maybe I would try it that way and then I decided I didn't like it. I liked it more as one type of frame so I was inking the edges of all of them and then I do end up using them on the layout but not the way I'm showing right now. I think this is me finally gluing them down. So now I'm actually placing some of those little um, journaling stickers uh, around on the journaling blocks. And I think I'm going to put some, yeah, I'm going to put brads in there again too. Um, and that's pretty much the finished layout. Oh, you know what? No, I'm sorry. I also use the stencil again and um, add some more um, of, the stent of those circle stencils in some of the blank areas of this thing. Um, and then that's pretty much the end of it. So um, I also attached a couple more layouts and a card that I did at the end for you to see um, all using the same kit. All right, thanks for watching.